Welcome student. Today let's learn about place values of decimals. Let's first of all look at the meaning of term decimal. Decimal is basically a method of writing fractional number without writing a fraction having a numerator and denominator. For example, 10 decimal 7 could be pronounced as 10.7 or 10 sevenths. In decimal, the decimal point separates the whole number part from the number whose value is less than 1. For example, in 8.63, the number on the left, that is 8, is called the whole number part while the number on the right of a decimal is called the number whose value is less than 1. So point 0.63 is having a value less than 1. Similarly we have the second example here in 11.132 11 is a whole number part while point 0.132 is a number whose value is less than 1. Now after seeing how to represent decimals, let's look at few more examples of decimals. Before that, we should look at the definition of one whole. Over here, this complete square represents one whole. So we can say that a whole means one or in fraction form as one over one or simply as whole number one. Now let's see what is one tenth. We know that this complete square represents one whole. Now let's divide this complete square into ten equal parts. So over here each part represents as one tenth. That is one out of ten parts. Or we can write on this as one over ten. Or we can write on this in decimal form as 0 0.1. Similarly, let's see what is 1 hundredths. This is a complete square. Now we divide this complete square into 100 equal parts. And over here, one part out of these complete 100 parts means 1 out of 100 that also means one hundredths or we can write on this as one over hundred now this can be written in decimal form as 0 0.01 now after knowing about one tenths and one hundredths let's try this question here we need to complete the given box here grid is also given whose 4 bars is being shaded in yellow out of total 10 bars. So we can write on this in fraction form as 4 over 10. Now we need to write down the decimal form for this. Now 4 over 10 means 4 out of 10. That is 4 tenths. Now 4 tenths can be written as 0 0.4. So we will say that decimal form for 4 over 10 is simply 0 0.4. Similarly, let's see how to match the following. Here we have to match the numbers given on the left with the numbers given on the right. First is 4 over 100. That means 4 out of hundreds. We can write down this in decimal form as 0 0.04. So that means A matches with 4. Now after this it says 0 0.4. Now we can write down this decimal in fractional form as 4 over 10. That is 4 out of 10. Which can be written as 4 tenths. So this B matches with 3. After this we have 7 tenths. Now 7 tenths means 7 out of 10. 
or you can write on this as 7 over 10. So we can say that the C matches with 1. After this we have 0 0.07. 0 0.07 means 7 hundredths which can also be written as 7 out of 100 which is 7 over 100. So this D matches with this second. Now let's look at the place value chart for decimal numbers. In a decimal number, to the left of decimal point, we have whole number part. So we can say that this 1s, 10s and 100 represents the place value for the whole number part. While to the right of a decimal point, we have tens, hundreds, thousands, which are the numbers whose values are less than one. So we can say that tens, hundreds and thousands are the place values for the decimal numbers. Now after this, let's see how to place one tens and one hundreds in a place value chart. One tenth means 0 0.1 or we can say 1 out of 10. So in 0 0.1 point goes in decimal column, 1 goes in tenths column. Similarly 1 hundredths means 0 0.01. In 0 0.01 point goes under decimal column and 0 goes in tenths column. And finally, 1 goes in hundreds column. Now let's see how to place these numbers in a place value chart. First number is 436.27. First of all, place the point in the decimal column. Now let's look at the number given on the left of the decimal point. This can be read as 436. So that means 4 goes at 100 column, 3 goes at tens column and 6 goes in ones column. Now let's look at the number given on the right of the decimal point. This is read as 27 hundredths. So that means 2 goes at tens column, 7 goes at hundredths column. Similarly, let's look at the next number. That is 217.438. Put the point in the decimal column. Let's look at the number given on the left of the decimal point. It is read as 217. So that means 2 goes at 100 column, 1 goes at tens column and 7 goes at ones column. Now let's look at the number given on the right of the decimal point. It is read as 438 thousandths, which means that 4 goes at tens column, 3 goes at hundredths column, and 8 goes at thousandths column. So we can read these two numbers as 436.27 can be read as 436 27 hundredths while the next number that is 217.438 is read as 217 438 thousandths now with this example we come to the end of this topic goodbye and see you in the next session